What up, world? It's your favorite homegirl, Gina Views. Welcome back to Whole Fashions, the home of unfiltered conversations about intimate experiences. And I got a queen in the building, very, very viral, very, very <laughs> important to the city of Los Angeles. Down to the booty braids. Down to the booty braids. <laughs> Nilla, how you doing? Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. You done stole my dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see how he's just over here chilling? This is crazy <laughs> to me. Now, I've had him once and he just don't know how to act, y'all. Damn. Don't know how to act. <laughs> thank you so much for pulling up on me. I really appreciate it. Of course. You. Thank you for having me. Oh. I'm so happy to finally be here. Right? I feel like we should just on some L.A. shit. We should have linked a long time ago. A long ass time ago. <laughs> but um, we making it happen now. Yes. Congratulations on everything. We like to... Now, I do dig in people's business, but before I get... Messy and nosy uh -oh. and whatnot. <laughs> I gotta celebrate you. So I, got I you appreciate that. Uh oh oh. This episode is sponsored by High Roller. Oh. Okay. Shout out to High Roller. Another amazing black woman out the city. Uh, oh, thank you, Boogie. <laughs> what we got up in here? <gasps> oh, girl. What is it? Yeah, 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 not yeah. right now. <laughs> We got a rubber jerk for you. Girl, oh yeah, yeah. No, nah, this is this my type of gift. I got me my passy, my passy this way. Uh huh. And then um, also shout out to my bay tender for the sexy sangrias. These are cute. And fire. just so you know, she's never made a drink this cute for any other guest. It is so fire, and it is so good. Look, it looks so good. I don't even want to drink it. Let me tell you, and this is my type of this is my type of stuff because I don't do like the real heavy shots and the okay. I need the cute stuff, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We ratchet over here. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that, mm -hmm. <laughs> girl. How are you? I'm good. I've just been busy. Yes, just I been see. busy. Yeah, girl, I've been busy. You know, content, music, but mm -hmm. I've been good. I've we, been good. We gotta get into this single. Okay, let's get into we it. Get into let's get into it. You made an anthem for the girls. Indeed. To Accidentally, me. too. How did it happen? Girl, because, okay, so you know I'm goofy as hell. So I was just going to get my hair done. Mm -hmm. And uh, mind you, me and my braider, we've been locked in for a couple years now. She squeezed me in the first time I got my hair done when I was going on a trip to, to Jamaica. And you've been locked in since? And I've been locked in since. <laughs> and because you know how these, girl, these LA hairstylists, they be wanting to cancel last minute and stuff. So I had girl. to hit up the home girl. I was like, I need you to squeeze me in before yeah. this Jamaica flight because it was my birthday. Mm -hmm. So fast forward two years later, I'm going to Bahamas. Same thing happened. I'm like, okay, girl, you got to come and do this head. And so. We, um, I'm in the chair and I'm doing a TikTok. Uh -huh. And so I'm just, I'm getting my down to the booties. Cause she's like, what we doing down to the booties? And she already know I want my down to the booties. She already know I always need it. When, you know, when they can't come, I need it down to the booty. So I'm getting my hair done and I just say this little single and I'm like down to the booty braids, down to the booty braids. And you know, I posted, I posted uh -huh. across all platforms and YouTube, TikTok, it just started going crazy. And they're like, make that a song, make that a song, make that a song. Uh -huh. So I was like, Bet. <laughs> I said, okay, I'm going to yeah. finish it out. I'm going to make it a song. It's so crazy because I went on YouTube to look for a beat. Like, the the one that I picked, that, that one that I picked, and it was a producer that I worked with before, but I never heard none of that from him. Uh -huh. And so I'm like, oh, he's been holding out. But the exact one I picked, I was like, yeah, this is it. This is yeah, going to be yeah, the one. Yeah. Wow, yeah, so and that's now we got about. a hit record for mm -hmm. the girls. Mm -hmm. And then your video, you all in the, in the beauty supply. You see me doing my thing? You I see? love the nostalgia. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's exactly what I was trying to get. Yeah. And then getting, getting back to the point where the music videos match the song. Yes. You know what I'm yes. saying? The, yeah. That Murder, Inc. era. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Absolutely. Okay, so now we got this hit single. Uh-huh. You're also very, very um, heavy in the influencer world. Facts. You're an influencer. Yeah. You are one of the, you and Heather Sanders are the two people that I look up to on the, the content level. Ah, love you. And I'm just going through the TikTok. I'm seeing the stuff on Instagram. Uh -huh. How did you, now, did you become uh, an influencer when everybody else did, like during COVID? No. So I've actually been influencing since I was like 17. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and it's all started, um, so in Gardena, I used to go to this boutique, um, Swag Boutique, the Swag Boutique on Rose Hill. Yes, 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 shout out Swag Boutique. And oh, Venice. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes, and, and Rose Crans. Crans. <laughs> yes, Venice and Rose Crans. yep, so that was my spot. Uh -huh. I'm cool with the owner and everything, and so I was going there, you know, 
And then, you know, I, cause you know, I, high school is when you really start getting into your figure and stuff. Right. So I'm like, okay, I want to get some new clothes. So I will always shop there. Mm -hmm. And, um, in high school too, is when I started building the following and, you know, I was kind of just getting well known around LA uh -huh. curly girl with the big booty, uh -huh. you know? So everybody was fine. <laughs> Everybody was finding my page. We had, um, um, it was like this big Instagram. Oh, the Curly Beauties. Uh -huh. And they was reposting, like, you know, all the curly head girls. So mm -hmm. I got my pictures on there. They had reposted me, and my pictures were going viral. Uh -huh. So that's how I got a lot of my followers in um, in high school. And then once I started working with Swag Boutique, they would give me discounts at first, and then they started, you know, sliding me some clothes. And I was like, uh -huh. yeah, you know, I posted. Once I got to college, uh -huh. I was like, yeah, I'll post it. And it really all started like you know that that kind of high school going into college okay because okay. that's when social media really started to get it going uh -huh. and i never knew like the momentum that could have came from that uh -huh. to me i was just like shit i need me some free clothes yeah, right. you know i need me some new clothes we so okay <laughs> okay so that's how that started and then in college um more brands started reaching out okay. victoria's secret pink uh -huh. and you know the more i just started posting because i just i've always been on social media yeah, you yeah. know i'm a social media girl for right, sure right. So what was your major in college? Human developmental sciences with a specialization in equity and diversity. What the f is that? Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it's like the saucy way to say human development. Okay. Or like, um, and it's kind of like a bridge of psychology. Okay, okay. Yeah, al along those lines. Psychology, sociology. Okay, okay. Yeah, the study of the mind um, and the body. What, um, what kind of job would someone with that major get? So typically, a lot of people say, like, well, first thought, they say HR, but... Um, That's what I was thinking, but I didn't want to be ignorant. Yeah, no, no, first like, thought, yeah. Human resources? Yeah, okay. yeah, first thought, they say um, HR. Now, I was, I don't know, I'm kind of like, I feel like degrees don't really matter at this point. As long as you got a degree, like, they'll train you on a job, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, with engineering, although my degree was in um, human development, I was working straight out of college at an engineering company. Girl, yeah, at an engineering firm, um, well, engineering company, and engineering, and since I had a strong background in math and science, they was like, okay, well, you got your degree, so you could get up in here. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah. Engineer gone rapper, girl. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Okay, so now while you're in college, all these brands are reaching out to you. Mm -hmm. Did you ever, like, feel in your mind, like, is it even necessary for me to go get a job? Being that I'm already financially, I mean, I don't, I don't know what she was making, but... Never. That's, that's kind of like the dream. You know what's so crazy? It never crossed my mind okay. because even in college and also too in college, it was kind of like it was here and there. It was money here and there. And um, I've also, you know, my family it, it's very much go to school, get your job and then you die there, you know. Yeah. So it's like I didn't know anything else in my head. I'm going to college and I'm going to get my job. And right. anything else is just a distraction. Anything else is on the side. Yeah. Like even with the influencing thing, all that was just stuff I was doing on the side. Mm -hmm. I never planned to, you know, drop out of college, never planned to take it, you know, seriously full time. Mm -hmm. When things kind of just started happening, I was like, oh, okay, this is cool. But the focus is still graduating college. Yes, so yeah, yeah. I didn't even, it didn't even cross my mind. It wasn't until after I graduated college and I started working mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, this yeah. <laughs> like, I need to change. <laughs> then that's when I'm like, okay, so yeah, let's see what that full time is talking about. Are you already viral at your job? Girl, yes. So... I was viral, and it was getting to the point where there were people here and there that were um, actually, you know, they spotted me at the job. At this point, what did save me is that I worked with a lot of older men, a lot of older white okay. men. So a lot of people didn't even know who I was when it came to, you know, the people I was working directly with. Mm -hmm. But all the black people, they knew who I was. All the people who worked there at the job with me um, that were black, they knew who I was. And, and they all talked... Uh, you know, yeah. to each other. So they were showing my Instagram, uh -huh. you know, outside of work and stuff. And then, I, girl, it was. it's even been times where I've been in meetings and after the meeting, somebody would say something and it was just so uncomfortable. What? Yeah, it was really uncomfortable. That also, too, is when I was like, I got to get up out of here. Yeah, because yeah. also, too, I'm coming in meetings and people aren't taking me seriously because of what mm -hmm. they're seeing on social media. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, they'll tell me, like, this is like a whole completely different person because, you know... <laughs> At 
the job. Like, I, you know. Yeah, like, using that yes. work voice. Yes, girl. Yeah, you know the corporate. You know the corporate. Right? <laughs> <laughs> my last email. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then they see all on Down to the <laughs> booty brain. <laughs> How long were you there? I was there for three years. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So what was the moment where you were like, I'm submitting my two-week notice? And I'm gonna go full rapper Ooh, entrepreneur. Okay, so it was a couple, it was a couple moments. It was a couple moments in time. Um now, first of all, I had gotten this long-term deal, this long-term partnership with Instagram. And that was money. Mm-hmm. And I was looking at it and I was like, damn, like, if I can make this from social media, you know, do I really, yeah, do I really need this job? And um, at that time, I was dealing with a lot of sexual harassment in the workplace, too. Like, mm-hmm. a lot of men, and they did not know how to talk to me. They did not know how to act. Mm-hmm. And so I worked directly with this man. Um, and, he, man, he said something crazy to me. that, And I was already having a bad day. Mm-hmm. And he said something crazy. I went to HR, and I said, this is my last day. Like, I'm not coming back. Girl, I was on a flight to Cancun the next day. <laughs> Here he is. I was on a flight to Cancun the next day. Wow. So how's what? that transition been? Um, honestly, amazing. Um, I was I I knew I kind of had planned for this and I'm glad that I planned. So I started working there 2019. And um I already knew I didn't want to be an engineer my whole life. This was kind of just like and this is straight out of college, you know, like I just need me a little job so I could stack my savings. And that's exactly what it was. Mm-hmm. So I was smart with it. I was stacking my savings and um, I was really disciplined. Mm-hmm. And I said, um, I did have a goal in mind that I wanted to have in my savings before I left. But once that day came and he had said something to me and I, it just did not sit right in my spirit. I was like, you know what? I don't even care because it's not even worth, you know, what, whatever I'm getting at an hourly rate right now ain't even enough for me to sit here and listen to the disrespect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, I'm, I'm over it. I'll figure it out. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's been, I mean, I definitely figured it out. It's been cool. Of course, with the influencing and the music, it's up and down. Cause that's another thing. Being an independent artist is hella fucking expensive. You know, thank God I'm an influencer first. <laughs> but, but it's been a real smooth transition, yeah. honestly. What um? So what was it like for you dealing with, because people ask me this question all the time with um, men being inappropriate in the workplace, being that the music industry is male dominant. Right. For the most part, I don't experience it. Yeah. But I know that it, it does exist and that yeah. women do go through it. Was that your only situation? Or have you experienced it more and more being in music and being an influencer? So that was really my only um, my only big experience because when it comes to the music industry, yes, it's male dominated, and yes, yes, you know, mm-hmm. niggas be tripping. Right. But um, since I am an influencer and I'm running my own business, it's mm-hmm. like I don't tolerate like a lot of bullshit, and I also don't like, I don't collaborate with a lot of people mm-hmm. either. Because I'm not going to be in a situation where I feel uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm also too, it's like, if I don't, if I'm not having fun, if I don't feel comfortable, then, you know, it's cool. I don't care who you are. I don't care what type of clout you got. Cause I got my own shit going over here and you know, I'm cool too. So it's just like, I kind of be doing my own thing sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I don't really experience too much, um, too much of that because I don't even want to put myself in those type of situations. And it's like, you know, I left corporate to get out of those type of situations. So I'm not going to, you know, um, switch industries and then mm-hmm. put myself, you know, in the yeah. same type of disrespectful scenarios mm-hmm. when I know that I have a platform and I can, you know, yeah. kind of do my own thing in the meantime. Mm-hmm. And if it's right, then it's going to be right. Mm-hmm. And you're going to respect me. And that's just is what it is. Period. Okay. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have reservations on collabing with people or you just haven't got to it yet? Um, I do have reservations and I also too haven't got to it both. I think also like there's a lot of people in the music industry who are so hyper focused on blowing up and I've just been so hyper focused on living life. So it's like, I'm, you know, cause I'm, I'm an influencer too. So it's just like, I'm making, I'm making the money and it's like, I'm not going to wait till I'm 30 to live life or 40 or 50. Mm-hmm. You know, if I want to travel, I'm going to do it now. If yes. I want to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Spend time with family, I'm going to do it now. Mm-hmm. So it's like I work, but I also play a lot. Mm-hmm. And since I do a lot of play, 
it keeps, you know, I, I'm not collaborating and working with yeah. a lot of people that, that, um, that I want to, but I know that it will come mm -hmm. when it comes. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm just like, I'm, I'm having fun. And I also don't force things. Yeah. I kind of just, you know, let things happen. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but I do, I do have reservations for collabs. Okay. Yeah. Um, how do you juggle family with being an influencer and doing music? That's a great question. So, there was actually a point in time where um, I felt like I was getting way too hyper-focused on the career. Because yeah. I really am. I'm a big family girl. I'm a big family girl. And um, I had to realize, you know what, I have a platform. And the reason why I am building my platform the way that I'm building it is so that whatever I post you know, my community, they gonna fuck with it. Cause they, mm -hmm. you know, they know me. Yeah. They go, they fuck with me. So they gonna know whether it's music, right. whether it's comedy, whether it's this. So I actually started tailoring, you know, my content a little bit to be, you know, around family. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll make relatable, relatable content um, from my own experiences. And that'll be the shit that's most viral. Cause they like seeing mom. They like seeing dad. Yeah. They like seeing, you know, they like seeing um, that other, that familial side of me too. And so I guess it's just also to um, me strategically building my platform this way so that I can have my platform kind of portray my lifestyle yeah. and my lifestyle is just, you know, this is just the way that I want to live. This is just the way, how I live. This yeah. is just, you know, so it's like, um, my audience is really just viewing my everyday and I hang out with family. I hang out with, you know, yeah. just like anything else, just like studio, just like this. And people tell me all the time, um, they appreciate that they get to mm -hmm. see, you know, the behind the scenes and, and everything like that. But, um, I'm just, I love content. Yeah. Like, uh, my passion is social media and content creation. Mm -hmm. So a lot of time, that's that's my motivation. So it'll be like, um, you know, if I'm hanging out with family or something, it'll be like, oh, y'all want to put together, you know, a dope vlog or so, you know what I'm saying, and put it on YouTube. Yeah. And then that way, it's like I'm still working. I don't feel like I'm taking time, um, you know, too much time for play. Mm -hmm. I'm still getting work done, and I get to simultaneously kick it with the fam. I like that. Mm -hmm. What about being in a relationship? Mm -hmm. Like, is it, do you ever think like, okay, maybe I, I forget, I forget their, uh, the couple name that does the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm like, there's so many of them. They broke up. It was some ghetto shit. Oh, oh, um, got a new nigga. was it Ace family? Is it Ace family? I don't know. The there's so many like of them. The no, like it was like, I don't freaking know, but. <laughs> CJ so cool. What's the girl? Oh, uh, royal royalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking they about. They all got drama though. Yeah, but it's like, yeah, I can't. Yeah, it they was all like got a drama. YouTube couple. They was together, and then they broke up, and then she went and got a new dude, and then they was the new YouTube couple. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be watching ghetto shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, but that's happened so many hey, times. When you leave, they turn the baddies on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's literally there's so many couples on YouTube that be doing the ghetto yeah. shit though. So are you like, are you into like doing the whole like couples? Not couples? really, not really, yeah, not yeah. really. I because I feel like also too, whatever you put out there for the like I, you also too like you gotta protect a lot of you know like not everything is for the internet and the same thing with my family like um you know there's certain things that i post or certain things that i'll cut out or certain things that i you know only show what i what i want to integrity. show integrity yeah because yeah. So, some things aren't for the internet right. you right. know and um definitely with with like something like my relationship like i put like i really respect and value it so I also don't shove it in everybody's face yeah. because you don't, you know, once you open that up to the world and then it's just like, oh, you know, yeah. it, it's just, it but don't be conducive to help. Hosting your <laughs> man, shit for real. Hosting your man while you're viral can literally open up hell's gates. Yeah. Because you're viral, and then it's like, well, what's up with her? Right, 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 right. Oh. And the thing is, and we've done content together, oh. and, you know, he's been viral, like, multiple times on my account. And... I remember there was one, <laughs> there was one video I did specifically. It was like an Instagram trend, and I had blurred out his name. <laughs> they was in the comments mad because I wanted to find him bad. I'm like, nope, <laughs> nanny, nanny, boo boo. You not go find them, girl. They was looking because they be nosy. Yeah. They is be he, nosy. Is he involved in social media or um, is he just like lucky? He be he's lucky. Yeah, he's hella lucky. That's I, a good balance. Yes.
So you post your boo. He goes viral. Uh huh. They want the username. They want the username. They ain't getting no username. <laughs> They ain't getting no, but they be lurking through the comments trying to, you know. If See I if he comment or anything? <laughs> yeah, he be telling me, oh, yeah, a couple of your fans follow me today. Because, <laughs> you know, it'll always say no. follow an official Nilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they be nosy, girl. How they do you How do you feel, though, just like on some girl shit, mm-hmm. when you going through the comments and you're reading all these females on your boo? Oh. I don't really give it. It doesn't even matter? Yeah, no. Nah. I start arguing with a nigga. <laughs> you ever got into it with your boo because something you dreamed about? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like I, like, I wasn't even no, there. I've been, uh, yeah. I woke <laughs> up on the wrong, like I before. I for sure have woken up on the wrong side of the bed, mm-hmm. looking at this nigga sideways while he sleep. <laughs> <laughs> How do you handle things like? Um, Cause you being the star and him being like, like you said, like a low key person on social media, he has to allow you to be the star mm-hmm. in public. And I would prefer that the guy that I date will hold my purse on the red carpet. Not okay. on, not on no weenie shit or nothing like that, but just let me take my pictures and stuff mm-hmm. rather than a guy who wants to hop in the picture. And Facts. you get what I'm saying? Facts. So, <laughs> So get what you said. How do you, is, is there like a, ever a conversation? Do you guys just automatically just, are y'all just on the same No, nah, we on wave? the same wave. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. We on the same. We always on the same, same wave. Uh-huh. So he knows. Do you remember your first viral moment? Oh, I do low key. Um, cause, okay. Cause I didn't really start going viral till TikTok. Cause you know, okay. Instagram didn't have reels, right? Back, yeah, and they right. didn't have video, right? And so I remember, like, it was a point because back then, like, my pictures were would go viral, um, every now and th- it was hard for a picture to go viral on Instagram, you know. Mm-hmm. But every now and then, I put post like a curly hair photo that'll get a lot of likes. But it got to a point where my page was not growing, mm-hmm. and I couldn't figure out how to grow my damn Instagram, and it was making me mad. And then TikTok comes along, and I was like, you know what? Just have fun on TikTok. It's a new app. So I really just went on there trying to have fun because Instagram was so, you know, serious. Like, yeah. oh, this has to be Instagram worthy. And, da, da, yeah. you know, it was just such a big pressure thing. And with TikTok, it was more fun. Mm-hmm. And so I got on there, just started showing my ass for real. Really just started, <laughs> <laughs> just started showing my personality. And um, I really liked doing the skits. I started, you know, I would see um, on my For You page, like, all these skits, and I thought they were so funny. Mm-hmm. So I would recreate the skits, and it just took off, like, instantly. instantly wow. viral. It was a skit. It was a skit. Because everybody was talking about my facial expressions. That was the one thing. Were those, like, the um, voiceovers of other people audios? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you okay, do a skit okay. to the, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, to the yeah, audio. Yeah. Exactly. Um, when did you know I have a great social media personality. I have a great social media presence. Um, I can do this for real. Probably when, okay, now let me tell you. So now, no, this is when I knew, this is when I knew. So I was, um, I used to do YouTube with my uh-huh. two best friends in college. Okay. And we had BTK beauty. Mm-hmm. Um, and we started a channel. Boom. We got popping around LA. We grew our channel to maybe, 80,000 subscribers Mm -hmm. before we um, stopped posting videos for them. So we stopped posting videos. And in my heart, I was like, damn, I still want to post. I still, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I was like, okay, I'm going to make my own channel. And my mom always told me, I will never forget. She was like, well, just take over the BTK Beauty channel. You know, why create a whole nother YouTube channel? You already have 80,000 subscribers Uh with the BTK Beauty. And I was like, no, I'll get famous again. Like, uh, this is Brene. Yeah. I want to start Nilla. Like, this is a whole new person. This is a rapper. Yeah. And my mom was like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, you have an audience of 80,000 people. Uh-huh. In my head, though, I was like, like, that's the old persona. Like, that was Brene. That was when I was in college. That was with my two best friends. Yeah. You know, like, I'm a whole new individual. It didn't even, inc- uh, uh, you know, back looking back, I'm like, damn, I really should have took that page and converted yeah. it. You know, instead of starting You don't have to log in? I do have the login. I do have the login. I just feel like there's so many inactive users, you know, now because it's like just make it a couple channel. <laughs> Low key, I could make it a little. <laughs> I could make it a little couple ch- or a vlog channel <laughs> yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah. No, honestly, I really could. 
But, um, yeah, my mom was like, you need to take that and just and flip it. And I was like, no, like, I don't want to take over, you know, that thing. That's because people still look at those videos. People still come yeah. back and watch that. And they want to see, you know, all three yeah. of us. So I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to make my own channel. I'm going to start a whole new persona. And we just going to get Nilla mm-hmm. popping. And, I mean, it's just like in my head, it's just like there was no doubt about that. Yeah. Like, I just knew that, like, it would work. Mm-hmm. Because every time I'm on, it, it's just like it's it, it became so effortless. Yeah. Where it's like I would post and, you know, you, friends would tell me that they're going to, that they're, trying to get into the content stuff, and mm-hmm. they've been posting for how long and how mm-hmm. long, and we all are talking about it. And um, me and my friends started co- doing content around the same time. But, you know, my it was just the, the personality and yeah. the way that I edit, you know, just everything just started taking off. Mm-hmm. So also just looking at the numbers and um, just how quickly everything was moving. Yeah. I was like, I think I could do this for yeah, real because yeah. this is moving. Are they still influencers? No. No? Okay, mm-hmm. okay. So you're raised in this um, household. Mm-hmm. Not going to say strict, but more so like traditional. Strict. strict, okay. We could say that. Strict household. <laughs> yeah. Traditional. <laughs> go to college. Get a job. Mm-hmm. Die at the job. Mm-hmm. How did your family receive you being like, y'all? That part. I'm going to do influencer shit. I'm going to be a rapper. Yep. How did they feel about that? So... My dad's side <laughs> had a dad side kind of got a problem with. My dad definitely had a problem with it. Um, mm-hmm. My my family though is like they're strict, but they're all they're supportive. They're okay. strict and they're supportive. And the way that my mom is, it's like whatever I want to do. My really, my mom is gonna support me as long yeah. as I ain't doing nothing crazy. Yeah, like my mom will support me. Your mom's cute. She <laughs> she was she doing the crazy. booty ba- the bo- booty braids dance. Yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, she crazy. So um, she will she will support me, um, and and that's what she did. She was like, "Look, if this is what you want to do, just make sure you have a plan." And you know, I'm all for it. My dad, he was like, "I don't think it's a good idea." You know, there's yeah. no stability in that, and I'm just you know a lot of a lot of doubt, a lot mm-hmm. of doubt. But um, same, my daddy said the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and he's like, you know, because my dad likes to call himself practical. Yeah, you know, realistic. Gosh, hey. I'm not practical at all. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> don't want to be practical. I don't want to be practical. Yeah. No, I want to dream, and I want to create. And I, yeah, I told him. I, I mean, shoot, I'm just telling you what I'm yeah, gonna do. Yeah, yeah. Like it really wasn't me. Um, and it's crazy because growing up, like my parents' um, validation meant so much to me. But once I became an adult, once I got into that job, and once I saw what I was doing on social media and how the numbers were moving, Mm -hmm. because I also, too, I didn't just quit my job and hope that something was going to happen. Like, I left my job because the numbers were doing what they needed to do. Yeah. You know? You did it when it made sense. When it made sense. Uh Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I kind of told my dad, like, this is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know? And, of course, he was going to give his opinion, but that was just all outside Mm -hmm. noise. Because looking at those numbers, I'm like, yeah, I could do this. Yeah. Were you this entertaining in, like, high school growing up? You know what's so funny? I was, but only with the people, only with my friends. Okay, so only you weren't, like, a class clown. Me. I wasn't a class clown, but it's, like, now that what I'm doing, everybody who knows me, everyone in high school is, like, this makes so much sense. Okay. Because it's, like, I've always, um, because I was kind of, like, you know, the popular girl around campus, and it wasn't really me being goofy, though. It was more so with the, I was a super nice person, and I was so, you know, very pretty and mm-hmm. very, you know, the popular girl. But typically, they're used to the popular girls being rude. Yeah. So I was um, popular more so because I was a good person, uh-huh. and I was nice, and I was mm-hmm. also popular. But I like making other people feel good, too. Yeah. So it was just, like, I, I was also, you know, I was just kind of w- well-known around high school, around the city, or whatever. Mm-hmm. But once I started actually getting into the entertainment bag and once, you know, I kind of started um, showing my true colors on social media uh-huh. and, and it got to people got to know me outside of my friend group. They were like, OK, yeah, this makes so much sense. Like this girl's literally made for the camera. Oh, I love this. <laughs> it's so crazy how it's just everything's been unfolding. Yeah, you know? I've, a lot of people from that I like grew up with. They've, like, been in my comments saying, this is crazy seeing you do this because you were this in high school, yep. you know? Yeah. So it always feels good to me when people that I grew up with acknowledge and are seeing it. Exactly. Because it just speaks to how genuine and, like, 
real it is. It's not like you're doing this shit because um, somebody has given you the right. You know, you know, like yeah. You'll probably hear sometimes where rappers say like, "Oh, I'm only doing this because it makes money," right. or you know, whatever. Right. But you're doing something that's comfortable for you. Absolutely. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. But I done got into your business enough. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the part fun. of the show where you can get into my business. Oh, so you have a cup of questions next to you. I have a cup of questions right here with me. Oh, let's and get um, your business. I'm gonna ask you these questions, and you have the choice to skip. Okay, you cannot answer. But the trick here is that I can't skip. I have to okay. answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 So you get you can go first. I'm going first. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What's your least favorite position? <laughs> a crazy, that's a crazy first question. That's a crazy first question. My least favorite position uh-huh. is um, from the back. Because mm. I don't got a lot of meat. Now that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> least favorite is from the back is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Get that motherfucker out of here. Wait, Gina's lying. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We're not cutting it. Sarah, the main one to be like, cut this, cut this, cut this out. Please get Rolly. Where? What? At a time like this? Let me show you my favorite position. That's what he said. I'm so mad that the camera can see him down there doing that. <laughs> oh, it's right there. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. It's right there. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw the one at the door. All right, let's just try to get through it. Hey. Show him that so he can get scared. Show him that shoe so he can get scared. <laughs> he don't give a fuck. Oh, good. Yeah, least favorite position has to be from the back. I don't have a lot of meat back there. And then, like, dudes be, like, bigger than me. And they, like, be, like, weighing me down. And, like, they it's the arch and the whole, like, I just... It don't really, it's not for me. Okay, got you, got you. It's got not you. for me. Okay. What's something <laughs> non-sexual that turns you on? Mm. Non-sexual that, ooh, ugh, I love when a nigga tell me the truth. I love when a nigga tell me the truth bad. Really? Yeah. Ooh, lie to me. No, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, you honest? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you honest? Oh, yeah, that's all I need Okay, to know. wait. What type of truth, though? You mean truth like being up front with you or truth like, yeah, I like yeah, baby, take that shit off. It don't look good. Like, what type of truth? No, 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 no. I like the up front. I like the up okay. front, honestly. Transparency. Transparency, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Not take that. I mean, my thing, <laughs> my thing is not take that shit. <laughs> I mean, shit, if he. I had a nigga tell me that's not your hairstyle. No, he did not. Yes. No, he didn't. And I was popping it. I'm out. You no, know, no, no. Like, okay, so let me no, no. I like a nigga who tell me the truth when I ask. Yeah. Yeah, when I ask a yeah. question. Niggas be offering the truth be, to me. Yeah, no, don't be offering <laughs> no damn truth if I don't ask. I'm going to ask you that, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead. You funny as hell. <laughs> oh, my. Damn. Okay, th- this <laughs> describe what dick slash pussy tastes like. I don't know what vagina tastes like. <laughs> what does um, dick taste like? It feels it's like skin. <laughs> it's the it's lick like, on the hand for me. Because it's like just skin, <laughs> but then it's like, it's like stretchy skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's texture. It don't taste like nothing then. Yeah, it don't taste like... Have I had a have, have I had balls with a little salt on them? Yes. <laughs> little seasoning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have I got a nigga ball salt table before? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 Salty balls is the same. 
If Yo. you could change, <laughs> if you could change one thing about you, what would it be? Uh, um, damn. I honestly don't think I would change anything about me. If I'm like, that's just the honest. That's honest an answer. Question, yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, that's, honest answer. Yeah, that's a, that's a good answer. That's yeah, I wouldn't answer. change nothing yeah. to be honest. Where do you most like to be kissed? That's a trick question. Who put <laughs> who put that in there, Ty? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I guess on my lips. I guess. That's cute. I mean, that's, that's, that's boring. That's, that's cute. boring. That's cute. That's okay. Yeah, like my nipples licked. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good time. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Describe your most toxic trait. Uh, what's my most toxic trait? Do I still have those? Oh, that's toxic right there. <laughs> <laughs> Denial. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna go with that one. <laughs> When's the last time you had to block someone? Um. When's the last time I had to block somebody? I blocked the nigga this morning. Maybe like. <laughs> maybe like two years ago. Two years ago. So you don't ever like get trolls and. You block oh yeah, I don't give a damn. Do you read the comments? I do. You do? Uh, okay. Well, every now and then. Only, like, for the first, because, like, when I post, I'll read maybe, like, the first 10 minutes, you know, engagement. Try to engage right, with right, the right. people. Mm -hmm. But once it start going viral, nah. That's I it. Yeah, 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 yeah. After the virality, nah, I don't be trying to engage. Okay, okay. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever fucked two times in one night two different people, not a threesome? Oh. <laughs> 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 nah, 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 nah. Uh, have you ever been T-Pang sprung before? How did you get hooked? Um, have I ever been? Yes. Yeah, I've been T-Pang sprung. How did I get hooked? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in the clip. The <laughs> 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 What's your favorite part about being in a relationship? Um, it's hella fun. This is hella fun. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's oh, like you're mine. Huh? You're mine. Yeah. You're mine. Yeah, it's yeah. just yeah. like a best friend that nobody can have. Yes. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Which Zodiac sign has the best sex? This year is Leo. I'm, I got some type of like attraction to like Leos. I don't know if I don't oh, know. Scary. I don't know. It's scary. Male Leos, I truly believe, are sent from down below. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like male Leos are literally the worst uh, zodiac to date. Like now, Leos, we good. <laughs> yeah, the girls always different. We sent from God. <laughs> you know, we're 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 the uh, the goddess of the jungle. You know, <laughs> but no, male Leos, like they're like. Are trash humans, yep. but I'll hit one. Uh -oh. uh, and he uh -oh. surprised me because mm. my dick radar has been off lately. Uh -huh. So I thought his thing was little, and he put that motherfucker out. He's out. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's okay? Because you said you don't have one, so I ask you that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Give us three songs that are on your sex playlist. Hmm. Private Party by Nilla All In. Okay. Here All it. Night by Nilla All In. Here it. And uh, let's see, what's a good one? Probably. Um. Damn. No, it's a um. There's actually one on the top of my head that I'm thinking of. Um, I'll go. Show us what you do in the song. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> What's the lyrics? Okay, we're not gonna do that. We gonna say. <laughs> we gonna say. Uh, can't help it. Nilla all in. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Do you have another one or that's it? No, that's it. That's, that's it. Oh. 
Are you into butt play? Ty. Who <laughs> 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 made these questions? <laughs> I don't like it. Poked, licked, spit it, spit on, touched. Move, motherfucker. Yeah. I don't, yeah. It's, it's, it creeps me out. Okay, okay, okay. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what do you have coming up? What's next? What can we expect? Yes, yeah, so uh, next we have a new single coming. Come on for the singles. Yeah. I love your consistency. Yes, yeah, I've been working. July, next month, I'm dropping again. We got a new single, some hot shit. Okay. Summer vibe. Okay. So that's going to be dope. And then, of course, the content is always, you know, always yeah. coming. Um, but I'm super excited for this new music okay. that's gonna be coming. Are out. you doing a video for that one? Yeah. Okay, so I missed the last video shoot. I can I pull know, up to that one. I know. Okay, okay, okay. I pull up yeah. to that one. For just, sure. Just for sure. Send me. Let me know. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll come to that. Yeah, that one's gonna be late. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you so much for pulling up on me. Thank you yes. for kicking it. Thank you for I having me. I appreciate you. Go ahead and um let everybody know where to follow you, where to get the content, and you know where they can. Tap in with you guys. Yes. Y'all make sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok. Right here, right here. Oh, oh, hey. Y'all make sure to follow <laughs> me on Instagram and TikTok at official.nilla. New content, new music, everything coming out on my Patreon. So y'all make sure to subscribe. And you can find me on uh, YouTube at Nilla All In. Y'all heard her. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Whole Fashions. Make sure you share. Like, subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their granny, to their mama, to their uncle, to their nephew, to their niece, okay. to their neighbor, to their baby daddy, to their nail tech, to their lash tech, to their beautician, that a brand new episode of Whole Fashions just dropped with Nilla. And I'll see y'all next time. Hey. <laughs> 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 what the hell is your problem? <laughs>